Andrea here. Hope you guys are all doing great and I'm excited because I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite low carb snack recipes and that is for jalapeno poppers. So let's just turn this camera around and let me show you what we've got. This is everything you are going to need to make this recipe for yourself. And we are going to start by browning our breakfast sausage. So I have turned this onto medium heat and I am just going to get that opened up and put that in the pan. Okay, so I got my sausage in the pan and I'm not going to worry about breaking it up too much. As it starts to cook, it will be easier to crumble. So just going to let that go and while that continues to cook I'm going to start working on getting our peppers clean. So to cut my peppers I am going to wear gloves since I am using jalapenos. Um, I want to make sure that I don't forget I've been touching hot peppers and then touch my face or touch my eyes later. So I highly recommend it. Um, so what I do is I just go ahead and take the tops off and I have about eight jalapenos. These are fairly large jalapenos. So if you have smaller ones, you may want to use more like 10 uh, or 12 to the amount of filling that we're going to make. And also I just want to mention if you don't like spicy peppers, you can use whatever kind of peppers you want. Uh, it with spicy peppers the heat really lives in this white kind of pithy part and then in the seeds so I just take a spoon and I just scrape down and surprisingly if you do that jalapenos become very mild Matt is very sensitive to spice I have a much higher tolerance and he was surprised when he first started trying these out that they weren't hot at all on his palate. So, but if you don't want to use these, you can for sure use green peppers or some of those mini sweet peppers. I've also used poblanos, whatever kind of peppers you want. And I am just going to continue working on getting these cleaned up and get them set out onto my sheet pan. here and just want to start breaking it apart some more. And at this point, now that it started rendering some of the fat, I'm going to add some of the spices. And I'm just going to mix everything in one bowl here to make it easier to add. Um, so I will start out with just have some dark chili powder use whatever kind of chili powder you have and I am going to use about a tablespoon of that and we have granulated garlic and I'm just going to use about a teaspoon of that some oregano And I'm going with about a half teaspoon. 
paprika. A teaspoon of that. Cumin. One teaspoon. And then just some cracked black pepper. I don't add any additional salt because the breakfast sausage is pretty salty. Plus, once we add the cream cheese and the shredded cheese, um, I would just add salt to taste depending on what you like. We are trying to watch sodium here, so definitely try to omit adding extra salt. And I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that in there. I know it looks like a lot, but I like my sausage to be super flavorful. And just a side note, I make Southwest style low carb breakfast burritos. And when I make my sausage for that, I do it the same spice blend. And it really just kicks it up, makes it even better. I've turned the oven on to 350, get that preheating. And I usually cook my poppers for about 25 to 30 minutes or until they start getting golden and bubbly. Um, I check to make sure the peppers get tender. I like mine to be pretty tender, so you also want to check for that. Depending on the brand of sausage that you use, you might have more grease. I'm using Bob Evans, so it really didn't um, render much fat at all. But you, if yours seems to have a lot of fat, you might want to strain it before you add the spices, just so it doesn't get overly greasy once you bake it. Okay, so this is just about done. I have let the cream cheese come to room temperature. Um, if Don't worry about it if you don't think yours is quite at room temperature because the heat from the sausage will soften it. Let's see what I mean. So let's just get this open. So I have added my hot sausage to the block of cream cheese and I've just been getting it really well combined. You want to make sure that you don't have any big white pockets of cream cheese in there. Um, so just keep stirring until it is very well mixed. Okay, and now you just want to start filling the peppers. Um, you don't want to fill it too much so we don't run out, but if there is some left over, then definitely go back and top off. you have them all filled. I have some Colby, Colby Jack cheddar here. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. You could use pepper jack would be really good if you wanted to make it even spicier. Um, or if all you had around the house was some mozzarella, you could use that too. And our oven is preheated to 350. I'm going to put them in for 25 to 30 minutes until they are golden brown. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and check on our poppers. And I definitely think they look done. This is exactly what we're going after. 
We want it to be nice and golden and bubbly. Mmm, look at this, you guys. This is what they look like when they're all done. I can't wait to take a bite. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think you're going to try this. If you do try making this yourself, make sure you come back and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. But here we go. Let's give this a try. Mmm. So good, you guys, I promise. Anyhow, I have some poppers to go eat. Until next time, you guys, stay safe and be blessed. Bye.